I have a helmet for the revolution. It's day, still day two of the revolution in the morning. Uh, as aforementioned, the British Embassy came and told us what happens. They told their own people and then they told me it should have been the other way around. Me as a guide, as a local with insight into things, I was uh, supposed to tell visitors, look, this is the country, it's like this. But I had no idea. Uh, in Poena Brasov I didn't hear anything, didn't turn on for the propaganda, which I guess didn't even mention. Uh, for a long time they said nothing and then they said something about the hooligans, um, hooligans and agenturile straine. Foreign agents have been doing bad things in Timisoara, but other than that, so um, we um, established that something serious is going on in Timisoara. Uh, learned that from the people of the embassy. They advised their uh, the citizens of the UK not to enter, and that was crucial. Because uh, in the morning, a delegation from the tourist office came to convince them to come into Romania and go and enjoy the snow at the, in the mountains at Panabrasha. What happened briefly was this. Uh, a fuss was created around and a lot of buzz around this group of children. Fiorop talked about it and others. And at the same time, the Romanian authorities, um, especially the Ministry of Tourism, try to grab it with their teeth. Uh, in what sense? So the borders were closed, nobody was to come in because of the Argenturile, the whatever uh, conspiracy theory was uh, concocted by the stupid bastards at the uh, head of the country. So they realized this is the end of tourism and of our jobs if it's like this. But let's see that things will improve. Let's think that things will improve. This will change. This is not going forever. And we might want to return and let's get these people that we have that they are at the airport and let's have them come in. The only ones we have and we're going to have for a while. Something like that. That's that's the logic I see of it. So this woman who was supervising me came. I think that bastard who was uh, controlling from a information intelligence point of view, securitate, whatever, Burdujel. Now I, I even remember his name. And some other guys. Maybe my new friend uh, that I meet at the pool. The, even the head of the, the director, the manager of the, the Onete. I'm not sure. I have to ask him about that. Maybe he was there. Some men were, were there to the heads of the operation for UK, whatever. So come in, it will be nice and so on. But the teachers on advice from the professors, uh, the advice from the embassy, decided not to take the offer up and went back. And they did very well. Uh, it's the best solution they uh, decision they've taken, decision they, uh, they've taken and solution they found because um, the situation would explode in the next few days. So with them, uh, with their stay program for a week or maybe even two, ten days, whatever, they would be trapped in Poana Brasov and Brasov and they shot the place up in Brasov. In Brasov, in fact, at least one woman who used to work in Poana Brasov at the tourist office was shot dead. So if not killed, uh, these um, children and their teachers would have been in great peril under a lot of tension afraid that they the, all the circus and civil war it looked for a few days like civil war would would get to them and it would be from the psychological uh, point of view at the very least very damaging
So it's good to the to, to British Embassy did an excellent job and the uh, ones who made the analysis uh, need to be congratulated. Because others might have said, well here it's quiet, come in, no no problem. Well that advice was excellent, I keep repeating that. So coming back to this guy, uh, he had no clients anymore but still a ton of papers in fact it looked like there's more paper now that the clients went off to britain back home than if uh, we would have them here and pay for them the bills and meals and travel expenses and everything else because these were the types of uh, visitors who had everything included they they don't have children coming here and uh, well they pay for some drinks but they don't uh, have them travel without uh, assured meals and whatnot a, a complete package so I had to go to the tourist office and make the rounds of the offices for uh, those who check what was spent in this case wasn't spent or it was just spent for that delegate just small amounts but, and then to make the cancellations and reports for the reasons why uh, this is returned and that one is cancelled and that one is uh, paperwork bureaucracy kafka remember the trial uh, for no good reason you have to do a lot of paperwork well the reason being that the, the clerks need to uh, justify their pay sometimes and their existence and what's the way to do it well it's a mountain of uh, papers uh, i will come back to this tomorrow